Hello everyone and welcome to the video. So with the news of Mr. Toriyama, um, I've had a few comments saying how I should make a Tori bot character in Xenoverse 2. So that's what this video is today. Later on in the video, after the formalities, we will use a Tori bot custom character. What is the Tori bot? The Tori bot is a character that Akira Toriyama, Akira Toriyama made, I apologize, that Akira Toriyama made to basically represent himself in his media, you know, Dr. Slump and all that good stuff right there. So we'll use that a little bit later on. Honest bot, I think you're trash. You handpick every person you fight to ensure you get free and easy wins. I'm not wrong, I'm right. Okay, it's like, okay, if, 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 if you think that, okay, sure. Okay, so you can say, so he's got modded Ultra Instinct. Great, awesome. Or rather, it's just a modded character with Ultra Instinct. Cool. <laughs> You're going down, bro. Invite me. Okay. 30 minutes later, you still haven't done it earlier today. Okay. The next day, you are trash. Okay. <laughs> yep, I invite you the next day. I'll be ready. Okay, trash. And that is where we are right now. Do me a favor, leave a like on the video and subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, we shall now invite him. If he joins, he joins. If not, then, well, don't worry about it. Okay, so he has joined. Now, later on, or rather at the end, once I'm done with this, um, I will go to Canton City, to the Dragon Ball Pedestal, to take a quick look. Uh, to see if there's anyone there still doing the spirit bomb. There was about, well, before I started recording, I did check because I'm in the mulch lobby. So we will check that out again uh, at the end of the video. Just see if there's people still there. This video has been uploaded, well, recorded on the 10th of March and uploaded as soon as. Festival skills, okay. Uh, yeah, so I might sign up because I've got two other videos plus one marathon video. The marathon video has been uploaded Saturday. Again, it's Sunday right now. It's going to be uploaded next week. It's already scheduled to go out. And I've got two other videos, one going out tomorrow on Monday and Tuesday. These videos were recorded, I think both of them were, one of them was recorded before the news broke and the other one, I think like the day after. So just keep that in mind, okay. I don't know why I went for Sledgehammer then. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> Hold on, this guy's his stamina's just broken, but he's still in Ultra Instinct. That's weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One zero. Can I please get a he sends his regards in the comments of the video? One zero. Okay, trash. Now, again, I'm only going to go over not all the formalities. Again, I'm not going to use the destroy build. I know what his next form is going to be. That video will be up, I think, Wednesday. Again, Sunday right now. So Wednesday will be when the, this video goes out. I think you guys are going to like what I've came up with. Again, I've not changed it yet, so do keep that in mind. I think a booyah just doesn't necessarily feel appropriate in this video. So we'll go over the formalities. Well, half the formalities, I guess. Maybe a random character. Then we'll use the Tory Bot custom character. Oh, okay, he went for all train suit without any key. That's interesting. And even before the it ended, he went into it. 
I, okay. <laughs> so just in case you don't know, as of right now, the Ultra Instinct to Walking skill takes five bar. It consumes five bars of key, meaning that you need to have at least five bars of key to activate it, then you'll get rid of those five bars of key. And once you get your stamina broken, you go back to your base form. But as you saw in that last fight, uh, that didn't happen, which is strange. Very strange. Actually, I, I did check, but let me just check again. What level is he? Okay, level 120. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, on it, regards have been sent to zero. However, please excuse me as I now finalize the regards. Do I mean he's out of all trinstic now? That should, should have put him back to his base form. <laughs> I don't need to loot burst, but it's just to get some, just to get some key back real quick, so I can go for godly display. Four zero. Okay, trash. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Anyway, do you know what? Let's go and use the Tory Bot character. Here's the move set. I would have gone for the Thank You Dragon Ball Super Soul, but I believe I've got that. Yeah, I've got it on Tamo. I'm on the Mechian. I may use Tamo later on. So here's the move set. Funnel build. Uh, 
I've got Light Grenade because Toriyama said that his favorite character from Dragon Ball is actually Piccolo, so a bit of a reference to that. Apart from that, I've just made it like a bit of like a spirit bomb build, you know, a celestial wave. Just a fun build uh, to use here. I would have gone for Ultra Instinct, but I, I didn't want to use... Like, it's, it's a bad awoke, kid. <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> Even when you have to mod it so you're in it infinitely, like this guy is, it's still not good. So that's why I went for Potential Unleashed. Also, it's a margin character. It's the most accurate way you can make a Toy Bot character. I know the head looks a bit strange with the, the ears, but again, that's all like a... Like, what? Well, yeah, the ears to some extent, right? Uh, couldn't think of any... Well, couldn't go off anything better, <laughs> unfortunately. Your characters look generic, like a plain Jane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like, <laughs> like a plain gen. I've not heard that phrase for a long time. <laughs> No idea why he can suddenly perfect block, but sure, why not? Also, because it's, it's a mal margin, I say it all the time when I use a mal margin. Uh, yeah, just look, at least you tried, you garbage player. <laughs> well, trash. Seriously, why can he suddenly perfect block? That's so strange to me. Uh, with mal margins, you will receive more damage the lower your stamina goes, and vice versa. So if you've got a ton of stamina, you will receive less damage. I mean, why, why did he do that? Why? Why did he do that? See how much damage that did, and I don't think he's got because he's a I don't think he's got any sort of like increased damage. I mean, he's, he's on level 120, so it wouldn't make sense anyway if he did. I just have a feeling he's going to go for Ultra Instinct at the very start of each fight. That's fine by me, because that's an easy stamina break. You know, it's easy damage. It's free damage, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, what's he going to do? See what I mean? A couple of seconds in. Okay, fair enough. I, I, time, I time that, but... <laughs> Okay, yeah, that was just me being trashed then. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
right, so again, because Mal Margins, I mean, a win is a win. Mal Margins, again, because he brought my stamina, I just would have received a ton more damage. I mean, as you just saw, just basically, that Kyle Ken times four basically one-shotted me. Now, again, a win is a win is a win, um, but because he won then, he just, 6-1, he just said, your combat skills are generic trash, okay? <laughs> okay. Again, pause to read all the messages as they have all appeared, so as of right now as of so far in the video going into battle number eight i'll go first to 15 first to 20 i just it just depends how i feel to be honest it really does Why, why couldn't I use the evasive then? That was weird. <laughs> One. Are you going to say anything else other than the score trash? I mean, not to you. Why would I? <laughs> like, why would I? I mean, I do sometimes call them trash and all that, but it's like if I trash talk them back, they could just report the messages and then I, I could get, probably not, but I could get suspended. So why would I bother doing that? You know, like, like I, I, I trash talk them, sure, to some extent, but I do it in the video as of me talking for the video rather than in messages, if that makes sense. So no, I don't think I will say anything else other than the score. Trash. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Otherwise, you just block like a clown for. Like, what, 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 what's he doing? I mean, that was a quite, quite a nice sequence there from my, from my part. Yeah, I think the play is just to pick stages for the most part where we're going to start off close to each other because I think he's going to basically, well, he, he's going to go for the Awaken as soon as, right? So I might as well get that free stamina break and do damage on him. Get it! Get it! Get it! 
Can someone explain to me why he can perfect block, but he does not have to use power wall and does know that he can use a grab to stop someone out of the super spirit bomb? P I mean, perfect, exactly what I was say. Proves my point. Yeah, great. Times four. Now, power wall, you, f you, s you suck. How dare you? <laughs> Now again, we if we both had low health then, enough to defeat each other, that would have been a draw. 12-1, I might end the video. Again, well, we'll go for a few more fights. I did say first of 15 or 20. We'll go first of 15, I guess. So three more fights, presumably. Then just to end the video, I do want to well, kick him from the lobby. Then we will go to Canton City to see if people are still paying their respects. <laughs>
And I am done. 15 wins to one loss. I'll take it. Again, a win is a win, whatever. I'll kick him from the room now, but the video isn't quite done yet. Because again, I do want to see if there's anyone still at the Dragon Ball pedestal in Canton City. There was earlier before I made this lobby. There's about five, six, seven people there. I do know people are still doing it as of right now. Get out of the lobby. Trash. I mean... <laughs> Why, why have Pell Wall equipped? Great skill, don't get me wrong, it's a great ultimate. But please explain to me why you'd have it equipped if you don't know how to use it. I don't understand that. Anyway, again, we'll log back into Canton City right now. We'll take a look in a couple of seconds, I guess. Can't wait for the next-gen version, um, because they, they did say that one of the things that's happening on the next-gen version is it's going to be improved loading times, which is like the biggest... Well, one of the biggest issues I have with Universe 2 right now, it's just waiting. Now, thanks to the magic of editing, you won't, yo, you won't see that. <laughs> anyway, back to Canton City now. Let's now fly over to, once again, the Dragon Ball Pedestal. Also, the World Tournament prelims were... It wasn't on the website. The website hasn't updated since Friday when it posted about, you know, Toriyama. Uh, but there was, and if you're in the US, I think it's still on. It was a world tournament, online tournament, with just uh, bearded characters. So yeah, unfortunately, there's no one here. I know for a fact that there is still people here on different, you know, in different lobbies doing it because people are showing me still. So also tomorrow, which is Monday, should, but I wouldn't be surprised if they change plans because of what's happening. But from Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday should be the Supreme Card Time event to unlock her, the skill, artwork, then probably a raid on Thursday. But yeah, that was like my little bit of a, you know, Toriyama, Toribot character. Thank you all for watching. More videos on the screen right now. I'll see you on one of these videos in just a moment.